Hello everyone, it's been a long time since I uploaded a video. I was busy with my life and was not thinking about this channel. I thought my videos would not be uh, useful or helpful to anyone. But after a while I can see that at least I'm being helpful to at least one desperate person who has no idea what to do. Just like I goes up to used to asking it's like a mechanical engineer. Hey you two, this thing happened to my phone. Help me, what should I do? I guess there are more people like me out there. so. These are for you guys, enjoy, plan to bring out many helpful videos, you name it, I will bring it out, so enjoy, stay safe y'all. So the specimen that we are handling today is a Sony's all-in-one component system, the model number is MHC GCR 8D, it's a substantially newer model, so just like any new model this thing is also plagued with a lot of problems, so this unit is currently you can see it's working but it's not actually working it's showing the please wait option in it so the please wait if issue is actually it's common in all of the sony's newer products dvd players cd players home theater systems anything that's having a software side this problem is waiting to happen it's actually the issue is with the ram ic's ram ic's used in such models is just junk they just burn out causing this issue this time I'm not able to fix it because I don't have the part for it I'll show you how you can disassemble this thing and where the IC is located and what all are in it I can show you that but you will be able to fix it by just replacing the RAM IC so this is the main sound processing board see how well it's built but actually the component used in it is sub quality most of the things will got rusted out or it will burn off. It's just a hair wire inside. A lot of components crammed together in a small place. That's a standby transformer. That's a main transformer. Which on the bottom side it's a main transformer. And top side that small board that has a standby transformer. Let's keep on disassembling and I will show you where the fault is at. This video can serve as two purpose, you know, I will show you each and every component's location as well as I will tell you how you can fix a please wait issue. For fixing this issue, you would need a solder station actually, the hot rest station you know, without which you cannot fix this. A hot rest station is a must for fixing this issue. And you should also be having a little knowledge in soldering actually. This unit is totally connected with flex cables everything that's a DM port actually it's kind of obsolete right now that's a tuner board antenna tuner thing for radio FM and this is actually a 5.1 home theater you know 5.1 device it has a DVD in it mp3 pen drive capability a lot of functions are in it but dead all together I'm kind of losing words you know it's been a while I talked that's why been trapped in my home plus I was so let's keep keep on digging Let's see where it goes. Another flex cable is totally filled with flex cables. I gotta find a way to remove this tray, right? Opening, I gotta remove the front tray or else this thing won't come out. The CD changer mechanism is a carousel mechanism. You gotta remove the CD changer mechanism to access the internals. So, basic rule of thumb, remove all the screws that you see. That small belt, that pulley, see the tray mechanism came out, remove the front fascia, that small plastic thing that will come off, then only you can remove the CD mechanism, actually the changer mechanism, changer mechanism can also simply be removed, the thing is not at all well to be, see, removing two screws, the entire thing is flimsy now, follow the basic rule of thumb, remove all the screws, that's visibly there. See a screw, remove it. That's a basic rule of disassembly actually. 
think about putting it back together later first let's do the disassembly I'm not really good at my English. Anyone wants, uh, you know, I'm actually Malayali. So anyone needs Malayalam? Drop in the comments. I will change the language. I'm it's like all of the people are speaking English in YouTube. So what shall I do? My English is really bad. I do know that. You know what the main issue with us Malayalis is that we are kind of shy to speak. You guys all should speak in English, no problem. The world is run by it's a universal language, you know. Try, don't be shy. So back to the issue. I'm feeling like ripping this thing apart. It's not coming out. A lot of flex cables, it's just have a lot of flex cables disconnect whatever cables that you see so the ram IC that i was talking it's just under that board you know it's kind of like dm8 or dmx8 or some sort of a board it has the underneath the carousel mechanism that tray there's a board see some sort of burned ic just right side to that giant ic that's ic that i'm talking that's a ram ic it's blown out replacing that will fix this unit for sure i guarantee you that replacing that ram ic will fix such units having the please wait issue of course that's the main catch it should have a please wait issue or else it won't be fixed for i don't know i don't know changing that ic might or might not fix it but if it's a please wait issue 99 percentage it's a ram ic transformer is sold down by four screws removing that will pull it out load of tie downs for mini cables it's a, such a giant transformer actually i'm guessing it's having 110 watts per channel for the front speakers actually it's having a two sets of amplifiers two sets of stks are running into one for the surrounds and one for two front speakers Actually, there are a lot of models for this uh, MSC GC series. Having the active subwoofer, this thing don't have the active subwoofer actually. So it's a 5.1. Uh, you can say that, but who knows? That's a transformer out. Let's keep digging. That's a grounding cable actually. Everything should be grounded. In an audio system, everything should be grounded or else noise will be picked up. I started this YouTube channel thinking that I could make money, right? That would might be the reason that I stopped at first. Now I know I'm not gonna make even a single penny out of this thing. Not even one rupees I could make from YouTube. Everyone wants comedy videos and all. I don't know how to do comedy. So this is the back side of the main motherboard. Actually, it's having all the sound processing capabilities and all. It's actually main power board, PWBC main PWB, that's main power board, that's a processing board and that's a tape record mechanism. Single motor, plastic cap stands, really cheap deck. The tape record, you know, the cassette, it lost its time way ahead. See, that's first one, first STK, that's for the front speakers and the second one is a voltage regulator section and third one is for the surrounds that huge thing that not huge get a small right you can remove it totally i will show you in a bit that whole amplifier section with two ic's and the voltage regulator it can be pulled out everything in the system can be pulled out it's all modular Sony is charging about uh, 3,000 to 4,000 rupees for replacing that uh, RAM IC. 
and the whole IC just costs about 600 to 800 rupees you have a soldering station you can probably replace it for cheaper I don't even know why they are charging about 5000 rupees for fixing just replacing a stupid IC that they do know the fault means it just happens they do know that this is the fault for please wait they can replace it but charging about 5000 rupees for this thing is due to the lockdown and or else I could have got the IC and replaced it removing a lot of flex cables this whole thing has a taper cut mechanism not taper cut you know cassette player mechanism and equalizer so and so all of the audio processing and everything is in this board buttons small type of audio processing and all main processor chip is in the main board this thing has front controls and all displays so that's the main pcb this is the main pcb and on my previous videos of what's inside a lot of guys asked me for uh, what sort of chip it is uh, what is that uh, what's the serial number of that i will be trying to mainly include everything in this i will see how much i can put uh, you can ask me about uh, whatever thing that you want to know about like for example what's a model number of such and such components i'll be glad to provide basic rule remove all the screws as you can see all screws have to go all screws have to go think about putting it in later first of all you gotta remove it it's all modular everything is connected into the main PCB wire connectors actually that there shabby looking guy that's me looks stupid though I do know that but I don't care that's for the cooling fans that's a cooling fan then I gotta disconnect many cables in it there goes the power tie downs speaker connectors see everything is modular even the speaker connectors are modular I bet Sony would charge a fortune for replacing those speaker connectors it says stupid how much companies charge for repair for example Apple they don't even repair their own products they are just ready to replace for a small amount of money so this entire thing is the main board with the amplifier section connected to it it can be disassembled that's a small board controlling the cassette decks that first board that you see that's for the primary amplifier for the front two speakers middle one is a voltage regulator and last one is surround amplifier both of them are STKs actually they are using Sanyo's original STKs in it if my memory is correct uh, Sanyo was the one who introduced the STK Sanyo I see inside Sony right funny <laughs> giant tech company Sony running Sanyo's components dead spider beautiful chatta chalandi <laughs> how funny screws 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 everywhere so I took out most of the screws I can keep going on both of those boards there are a lot of black not capacitors but there are a lot of relays for protection actually this thing has a lot of protection over current over load protection short circuit protection it's really well built but components are cheap the main thing that they did with this model is that the amplifier section and the audio processing and the preamp everything is inside that small board that I said 
beneath that ray mechanism right dm18 or dm8 some sort of that's the name i guess that board has the preamp and the volume control everything digitally it's all inbuilt embedded into that board you blow that ic that board won't power up that board will not power on that's the main reason this thing is going waste this much of thing will not run without that board you have the ram ic blown out that thing won't boot up causing entire wastage for this thing they could have just made this like a standalone amplifier you know with aux input but no they need that board it's like you know a conspiracy theory they don't want this thing to last people should buy brand new brand new all sony products were really good even old 1996 models they are still working with the cassette decks that cd decks that everything's dead but still we can use it as an amplifier but this thing no the ram ic gone the whole thing won't power on it's like in a protection state it's not even like a protection state you cannot even control the volume without that ic that small board dm8 i will show you later on uh, i'm trying to figure out how to remove the latch c symbol ah again the cables now i have separated the main board from the amplifier and voltage regulation section that whole piece of metal with three boards sticking and it also has rectifiers everywhere each and every amplifier board has its own rectifier so that there is no lack of power connectors capacitors those two connectors are for amplifier boards and that small four leg the thing that's a full wave bridge rectifier okay for those who ask me what sort of ic what's the model number you can check it out see a close up view of everything first of all don't ask me what all of these things do because i have no idea you got to check the model number online what sort of ic is that what is its function pinouts everything can be found online just punch in the part number you will get everything 15216 and h61530fp i don't even know what that is and i got no idea what that is maybe some sort of bios chips it looks on pcs it's mainly bios chips but these are not bios chips here it is the main amplifier the stk this whole unit is an amplifier with a voltage regulator in the middle see that's a front amplifier that's for the front speakers that is some sort of stk 418 or 11 or something like that i don't know look at the filtration that's going on four giant caps i'm not able to focus out that is just inside it says tk 400 and something this is ic that i'm talking that's a ram ic someone has tried to repair it priorly this is the board that i'm talking about this thing controls everything the volume control the sound processing video processing everything happens in it if this thing does not power on if that board is not able to post the entire unit goes to waste the camera is not even focusing and so everyone thank you for watching my videos i would be glad to put out a lot of videos like this would help anyone someone not anyone someone some day not today not tomorrow someone will be helpful with my videos i do know i'm not even going to get a single rupee from this so why not let's enjoy thank you for watching bye